With the 75% sale of the RMR capsules, not only has the Steam market flat out just not been working for extended periods of time throughout the past few days, but it's also caused a huge price dip in pretty much all of the big CSGO investments that I've been talking about for the past couple of months. So today, let's talk about why now might be the best time to hop in while prices are low. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe if you aren't yet, as this is the best place to get information on CSGO go skins and early investing tips and just before we get into it let's talk about our sponsor once again insane.gg insane.gg is a site where you can play crash and upgrade your skins and the best part about it is most importantly it's provably fair so let's quickly go over how to use this site for the crash game mode you can select an item to bet and then either cash out at any time or select the multiplier you want to cash out at I made mine two times in this clip and got to upgrade my skin. And there's also an upgrade game mode where you can choose pretty much exactly how much you want to risk your skin to upgrade to a better one. Like here I hit a 50% chance and got a 1.9 multiplier. Pretty cool stuff. So to deposit, first of all, click the affiliate link at the top of the description for 100% deposit bonus on your first deposit and you'll have a chance to double your skin if you bet enough times. And then head to the refill balance in the top right, use code SUKAFIRE and get your bonus. If you deposit more than once, you can also get a 30% deposit bonus with code SUKAFIRE30. So be sure to do all that. And when you're done, you can go to your profile and easily withdraw your skins. So be sure to check out insane.gg link at the top of the description. But for now, let's get right into the video. So as I briefly covered in the intro, prices of pretty much all major CSGO investments, especially cases, have just tanked because of the 75% off sale with RMR stickers. And because of this, I think now is a great time to invest, since this type of crash around the time of new major investments isn't something new. And in my recent videos, I've covered it quite a bit. But this time, prices might actually be a bit exaggerated as this obviously is the first major capsule in a longer time than usual because of COVID and the long delays between this upcoming major as well, which I believe caused a lot of people to jump in on these RMR stickers, causing people to sell their cases, their old investments, some of their skins, and just stock up on these. So. Like, if we look at the trend of the Berlin capsules compared to the RMR capsules, when the RMR capsules first got released, huge dip in price in all old capsules and other investments as people just wanted to buy in quick, and then they flattened out as people aren't really sure whether to buy back in because we don't know if there's going to be a sale yet, so price pretty much sat flat for a few weeks, and then eventually, sale comes and they crash in price quite a bit more. And now, after this, I'm sure we'll have to give them a bit to flatten out again, Maybe they'll dip a bit more, maybe they'll go back up a bit, but eventually they'll flatten out and should keep increasing eventually until the next major comes around and the same cycle happens again. They ideally shouldn't keep tanking or just randomly start spiking in price like tomorrow. They're definitely going to have a flat out period where people kind of realize the RMR capsules are still in the game. I can sell these old investments, invest in these. Well, you have some people wanting to buy old investments because they're at a low price. So they're going to sit flat for a while, probably until RMR capsules are out of the game entirely. This is one of the main reasons why I've been recommending to sell investments a month before the next major starts to you guys as well because you don't have to worry about a huge crash like this one. Or if you want, you can even hold, buy more stickers when everything does crash, when new sticker capsules are released, and then keep holding after that major ends. It's completely up to you. You have a lot of options to work with depending on your budget, depending on how long you want to wait. If you need the money right now, want to spend it on skins, whatever it may be, you can pretty much do whatever you want when it comes to investing in CS because the market has just been incredible lately. So because of the sale of RMR capsules having a huge dip in pretty much all investments, I think this is one of the only opportunities anytime soon of getting investment items, stickers, cases, and honestly just skins that you like as well. Like even a standard skin like the AK Redline has had a pretty noticeable drop because of this as well. People really want their RMR stickers, I guess. Like, this whole situation absolutely destroyed the entire Steam market. People were unable to see what items they got in recent trades in their inventories. People thought their items disappeared. It was absolutely nuts. Like, even with the Steam Summer Sale, it isn't usually as bad as it was this time around when things went on sale. So, because of all this, 
do I think that cases are just going to stay at the price and the case hype is dead now? No, not at all. According to a graph by a member of r slash CSGO market forum, using public data from CSGO flow among other things, if you want to know all the specifics you can check out the post for yourself, but roughly 28.8 million cases were unboxed in the past 30 days as of yesterday. So I by no means think the RMR capsules had any big effect on case openings and people investing in cases. I think case hype is still there and I'm pretty sure the price of these cases are going to go back up and continue going up as the hype continues. And once again, as RMR capsules get discontinued in the game and you're not able to buy them anymore, which should be sometime around early May when the next actual RMR event starts. So if you've been contemplating investing, I think now is a great time to really take a closer look at everything. Maybe check out some of my other videos, look at which cases I think are good, other stuff like that. And then of course, just look at everything yourself if you're comfortable with spending the money and if you're comfortable with waiting. But besides all that, I think that does pretty much wrap it up for this video. So these price drops are really a nice time to check out if you've got some money to spend on investments and you're comfortable with it. But if not, there's going to be some more investment opportunities eventually, and I'll be sure to cover them. So as per usual, if you want to see more CSGO investing content as soon as possible, be sure to subscribe to the channel, help your boy get to 30k, and check out some of my other videos. But as for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.